Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, so good afternoon. We have today with us Katya, who I met about uh, eight months ago about. Yes. And uh, she's a painter, as you can see, plenty of paintings around here. And uh, Katya, first of all, thank you for coming here on oh, such a short, notice, a short notice. <laughs> and I appreciate it. And I wanted to first ask you, how would you define your art? Would you say it's abstract or surrealism what can is there a definition for that kind of art yes uh, you know i don't have like a specific name but it's like a, a figurative figurative but a, in a more abstract way in a way that i see people oh you do yes okay. that's how i uh, represent so there's forms plus a, a face yeah it's i started with forms and shapes mm -hmm. and it leads to facial or facial two expression. people or just one person okay and the one that without the face is just plain yeah that's a series that i did on prayer yeah so i was just to work more with the shapes and the face doesn't have any it's detail. very geometrical yeah it's very geometric and uh, so you use um you use um a ruler and no a no ruler you don't use a ruler. Never. How come they're very straight? Well, it's just... Uh, Do uh, you use a, a compass? No. No, no, no. Nothing? It's, no. If you look at really close, you're going to see that the both sides are not even. E equal. Equal, okay. you know, because... The, was, but yeah, I have... Uh, I try to make straight lines. But uh, I don't... Just do, but without I, holding a ruler? No, I don't use the ruler. It I'm just quite, it's pretty straight. Yeah, you know, sometimes I go with the charcoal first. Some, yeah. Sometimes I have to erase. Okay, and to make again. sure it's... Uh, but uh, no, I, I don't use that. You it's don't just, use uh, instruments? No. Just your pencil, your painting? No, I use first the charcoal. Yeah. Where I do the lines. Yes. The sketch. And then after I finish the drawing... Mm -hmm. And I, then you put paint over and it? And then I put a painting. And sometimes... Is it acrylic? Sometimes I started with watercolor. Yeah. This one is all acrylic, but some of those are, especially the face, like this one, the watercolor and acrylic. You oh, can see the difference. There's a little bit of watercolor yeah. on the face? The face is all watercolor, and you can see this part is in watercolor. Oh. It's more transparent, oh. a little thinner. You see the, the watercolor and gouache. Oh. So There's gouache also. Yeah. So watercolor gouache and then the sides are acrylic. Not necessarily. The dots are always acrylic. The dots are always acrylic. acrylic. Yeah, because they have a, a, a different consistency. Oh. If I do the dots with watercolor, they They'll would run smear. Out. They'll they smear. Yes. So I use always. But I, I, I combine. I like to combine watercolor and acrylic. Because the watercolor gives a little bit softener, mm. it's um, it's a lighter, and the acrylic it's a little more flat. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so where did you get the idea to do dots everywhere? Well, the dots started because I I was a sculpt. I my ma at school my major was sculpture. Yeah. So I did a lot of clay, and then um, I always finish the clay sculpture with cold painting. Mm -hmm. And I would do the dots in the whole sculpture on the clay. Oh, that's how it started. And then I started painting, and, and then I transferred that idea into the two dimension. Mm. But it started with the three dimension work, and then. So you yeah. have done sculptures too? No, not now. I'm really just more painting. concentrating the painting. But okay. um, so you give me a card where it says that uh, you had a show. Yeah, yeah, I just had a show at the hospital, the Pacific Center Hospital. Oh, okay, okay. Is that uh, with other artists? or? Uh, yeah, each artist was in different floors, okay. and the theme was healing. So okay. something like would help the patient. That's true. Positive, That's true. Yeah, color. Colors, and, refreshing uh, cheerful. Color. So that was the theme of the show. Oh. And it was for it's three months. It's true that it's cheerful to see the nice colors. Yeah, I think it helps, you know, when people are recovering mm -hmm. to see things that cheer them up. That's true. So I noticed that all the artists that come from the south of France, 
they all have yellow and blues and yeah. and orange and all the artists from Paris have um, dark colors like brown, gray, uh -huh. dark. It's interesting to see the black. difference. You can tell Cultural. where they come from yeah. by the color they like paint. Like in Mexico, um, Central America. It's all colors. Very colorful. Oh my God. And New York or, you know, even here sometimes in San Francisco it's has some dark. So it's, it's really it tells it a little of bit the of weather. your, you know, your culture, like Brazil, you know, sunshine, yeah. ocean, and carnival. And, and you wear colors too. Yeah, I, I like colors. I'm not scared of them. It's good, good, good. <laughs> they look like the colors of your painting. Yeah, today, yes, a little blue and orange. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Thank and you. Um, so, did you start painting in school, or you decided you want to learn later on in life? Actually, I went to Academy of Art in College. 1992. Yeah, in San Francisco, and like I mentioned, my major was sculpture, mm -hmm. and I never thought I was going to be able to deal with the two dimension yeah. because of the illusion and, and I was not good at. Oh. So I worked for many years with three dimension work. Okay. And then I moved back to Brazil in 2000. Yeah. And I started painting watercolor and experience and different things. And you liked and what you did? And then I really like it, the drawing, the, 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 and then I moved to the painting and then I started to add some of the sculpture work into the painting, like the dots. How long will it take you to do one? You know, uh, with time, I got a little quicker with the with the dots. It used to yeah. take me forever. Yeah. Because it's dot by dot. Yeah. It's That's not a I machine. See. It's like, you know, the pencil one by one. One by one. Okay. And um, and now it, it it just developed the ability to concentrate. Yeah because it's very zen, you're yeah. doing this mental yeah. concentration work. while you work. meditate? Yeah, it's a very meditative work when you do One dots, after the other. Because it's like, otherwise you go crazy. The, oh yeah, yeah, so Either what you, you do? relax completely or you go crazy. So you may as well relax. Totally, so it's <laughs> been very good for sharpening the mind. So I, li I like to do the dots and, um, and like, you know, it's hard to tell, it varies sometimes it takes me just a few days to do the dots. Sometimes I don't fill up the dots like this one has less dots than the, that one. Oh. So it really varies. Like the last one has very little dots, if you see. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the other one behind you. Oh, the one behind me. I don't know if we yeah. can see that one. Let oh, me see if we okay. can. <laughs> yes, we can. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. So that one has what? Not so much dots, there's a as lot many, of um, not as many. shapes, but this the dots... It looks like Egyptian figures. Yeah. <laughs> you were inspired by an Egyptian painting? Some, maybe other lives. Yeah. You know, never know. It's yeah, it looked like you looked at an Egyptian painting and you liked it. <laughs> you know, not necessarily. It's just I have this um, kind of... Um, you wanted to do Egyptian? Uh, Egyptian, sometimes even people that like I met this woman from Iran. Yeah, she said my paintings look like the Persians. Really? So I really, you know, it's maybe from another era, but not as necessary Egyptian or it's something it's just from uh, inspired, inspired. Yeah, it's it's, ins it's inspiring to me to to see those old ancient work of art. And then how often do you expose? I mean, only when you have like shows with other artists or? Yeah, like uh, at the hospital, I uh, had the show two times this year. Really? At the beginning of the year. They liked it. Yes, they like it because, it, you know, the it's good for the patients, and, yes. And, and the positive and cheerful. So, yes, that was, that was the show. And now the open studio. I try to show as much as I can, but you have a, you're gonna have open studio in October. I'm gonna have an open studio that called the Art Explosion. Oh. The place uh, close by mm -hmm. on Alabama. Oh, that's where you're gonna be. Yes, I'm gonna with be with other artists. With other artists. And w is that gonna be f end of September? It's in September. I don't know the dates exactly, but it's in September. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And. Uh, you 
you'll, you'll be in the program, I assume. Yes, yes, you, my you name will be there. <laughs> but you, you do that once a year? Oh, he actually, for this last year, I was not showing much because I was working. Ah. I was just making a lot of work. Mm. And now I'm ready. I have about 20 paintings that I can so show. So you can expose. Yeah, but and I... And they'll be for sale, I assume. Yes. They, they yes. range between 1,000 and 3,000? They range between 600 to 1,800 to 2,000. Okay. Yes. That's good. It's by size, mm -hmm. the little ones. And the person who would pay that kind of money gets an original? Of course. I don't uh, sell but the original oh you don't do a replication no no i don't so you you keep a copy for you then no there is no copy How because you, it's you like a you know it's canvas I, I wouldn't be able to every painting i would have to painting another one that would no i mean you can take uh, a picture no i have a picture i have everything oh you keep but the picture yes. and you sell the original i sell the canvas yeah the work some people duplicate in 10 or 12. Well, some people do the print, the prints. Yeah. They do a, a yeah. printing. You, you like that? I haven't done that. Okay, and but you like the idea or The idea is doesn't, uh, it's not a bad idea, mm -hmm. but and then you have it to do, uh, you know, you have it to frame. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, I'm doing just the canvas work, but it's, it works for some people. Oh. I haven't, you know, I. I like the original. I like to be able to feel the texture. Right. So when you do the print, it's paper. Mm. And this is not paper. This is canvas. So this is a real canvas. Yeah, there is no glasses. There mm. is no... Because if you sell something, let's say, for $1,200, your net cost is the canvas plus all that painting plus uh -huh. your time. Yeah. So, so you already have invested a lot. Yeah, no, the prints, when you do a print, is much cheaper. You mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you just, just going to <laughs> sell um, is the paper. Yeah. It's like a picture Yeah, of the your canvas painting. is expensive and the paint is expensive. Yeah, it's a different uh, value. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... But sometimes people like so much of work and they cannot afford. It's nice to hear, to have some prints there. To you give to them to a picture? Yeah, I don't say I give them a picture, but some people sell for a much lower price. price. Oh, got it, yeah, got it. That's how usually that works. Mm, yeah, and then they frame it, put yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So. That's great. And how is the uh, American public? Uh, they um, uh, Do they like that style? Yes, um, I hope so. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, did you, did you, because you, you're going to do your first show uh, for Open Studio this year? Uh, no, I did some shows before in 1995, 2000, but right now, since I came back to the United States about five years ago, I started to do my show two years ago, and then I started another show with the hospital the last year. Oh, okay. But uh, I didn't have enough work because I was in Brazil and I didn't bring all my work from there. Oh, okay. But I was selling in Brazil. Okay. And I sold before I went to Brazil when I was going to school. So it's, um, it's been... Brazil, uh, they probably love it because it's... You're Brazilian? Yes, I'm from Brazil. So they probably identify with your taste? Uh, yes, they, they, they like they, the colors. They, they like the colors, yeah. yes. And uh, how many countries did you do? Brazil, America? Um, I have been, I lived in Europe for a while. Yes, which, and, uh, which country? In Spain okay. and in Italy. Okay. But at that time I was working with mm, three dimension. I was doing oh, sculpture. I see. I was doing some carving. So you didn't get a chance to sell there? Uh, no, I was doing some uh, just some working carving and uh, not I was not um, putting for sale I was just doing my own okay. work that's good and I brought it back with me to Brazil oh. so it's some kind of collector items that I I kept it okay so now you might have a chance to bring some there one day to bring it from Brazil to here no mm -hmm. the opposite from here to Brazil Oh, you know, I decided that when I'm here, I just 
have my here. work here and then and when I'm in Brazil I work there because it, it's just you know but if you stay only two weeks in Brazil you won't have time to do 20 paintings yeah but and then I just paint there and I don't sell need, it oh. yeah I don't yeah. I'm not that worried about selling I mean it's just it's great to sell yes but I'm not doing the work for sale okay uh, that's the consequence okay that's not the goal okay <laughs> it's just the co-product but, uh, but if you want to uh, to make a living you have to sell more aggressively maybe yes that's right but I don't want to go there I you don't, don't want to you don't want to you know I don't want to depend on the painting to surviving okay. and they started to fabricate painting mm. because it's something that it's like a diary. If yeah. I was able to write, yeah. I would write. But this is like my life. Each yeah. painting it reflects something. a time of my life. Okay. Uh, a history or uh, something that I There's was going through. Okay. So it was not just, uh, just to decorate a house, okay. but it's part of me. So okay. I don't want to fabricate that and, and get that many. for yeah. sale. I, I love it to sell. Yeah. Don't take me wrong, but n I don't paint for sale when I finish the painting I just am ready let to let it them go. go let it go yeah so okay. I don't have that in mind the whole time I just so I most artists are, are like that actually yeah um, they have the painting and then they have something they do on the side you know uh -huh. all artists have two yeah. two professions yeah well you know some artists they just live off their art and they if they're outside been the market all day, for you know. so long and they just paint and they sell and yeah like the artists on Montmartre, so maybe they paint all day yeah maybe you know one day that would be the reality for me right now i don't depend on my work for living but i do sell and it's great selling and hopefully i can sell everything i paint did you try the sosalito art festival or not yet no, I didn't try because it was, uh, I thought about last year. But you have to do it a year in advance. Yeah, but you need to sign up way before. Yeah. And I was not prepared. Yeah. But uh, that's a great festival. Maybe for next year. Yes. I'm going to put some en energy into that. Yeah, you just reserve a booth. Yes, I think that would be a, because you, it's a good experience. You are with other artists and it's, it's, a, it's a very good show. Plus, there's a big uh, turnout. There's yeah, like that's uh, that's a plan. Yeah, it's a million Not people. A plan <laughs> there to do that. In three days, there's a lot of people. <laughs> I go there once in a while, videotape uh -huh. the artists, and it's very interesting. Some are very good, actually. Yeah, I heard about some, some are very good work. Some people come from all over mm -hmm. the United States, uh, from even from Europe. It's that's why they call it international. Uh huh. Yeah, it's very international. Yeah. So they, yeah, that's they, there'll be other venues for you to mm -hmm. expand. Yeah, I mean, actually, now that I'm, a, I'm talk about being aggressive, I'm I'm not very aggressive, but now I'm a, taking the opportunities every time I have a chance to show, even coming here, yes, and doing why not? this. Why not? So I'm just embracing every opportunity that comes. I. You say, why not? <laughs> yes, because yeah, I think that's now time for me to do that. Oh, so good. I'm comfortable to show my work. You're ready to let go of that? Yes, very much. Okay. So anything you know, just let me know. I'll be right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because there's only so many you can store. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You have to let room for new ones. Yeah, no, I'm not attached to them. I am attached to them during the process I see you know I am like he's like a little child I really get really close to my work oh. the moment I sign my name yeah it's That's a turning enough. page oh really? I am completely Relief. disconnected oh it's, you can go okay. but during the process yeah I can't wait to come home I can't wait to see and, and I'm see really how it's protected to the work I don't like people seeing very much but like I said when I finish mm -hmm. You can go to any home. And do you get your <laughs> inspiration from doing your yoga or from other wa ways? You know, actually, I really get my inspiration through life, through what I'm everything, going through. Everything? Through what I'm feeling at that moment, okay. at that time. So it, it's, it's, not like a diary. While, it's not like we, you, while you meditate or while you do yoga. Well, my meditation is part of my daily life or my yes. yoga is part of my daily life. Yes. And my feelings and thoughts 
a part of my daily life. So the painting is reflect of a little bit of each one. Mm -hmm. It's what I'm going through. Oh, you know my my meditation, my yoga, my relationship, my diary. So yeah. it's my expression for the time being. Nice. So that's how I release myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And America is a good country to live in or Brazil is better? You know, it's not bad or worse, it's different. I, I love San Francisco. I Maybe. love the Bay Area, the diversity. Mm -hmm. And I love Brazil as well. It's just places are not better for me. They are not better one than the other. They are complementary. Yeah, but uh, it's probably warmer for you in Brazil. Do you like warmer weather? You know, Brazil, it's, when it's warm, it's very warm, like oh, anywhere else. Like 90? Yeah, so here you have this fog. Yeah, that it when cools you off at be night. Calling, you just come to San Francisco. You want to be hot, cross the Golden Gate. Oh, so it's very. So you, if you miss the heat, you just go? Yeah, I just go. Oh, nice. I go to the beach. I go to, Yeah, that's like super warm there and then yeah so it doesn't the weather doesn't bother me i did love it to swim in the did warm did you ever s ocean, uh, paint by the bay you know no i haven't done much like landscape no okay. usually my work is more you know as you it's, seen here. it's abstract okay yeah it's more like people and but th so none of these were done outside no none of those not yet yeah. maybe in the future yeah, I if you need to get out of the house. I, you know, <laughs> explore, that would be um, a new exploration, a new thing to do, a new adventure. So if, if, if I want a portrait, do you know how to do portraits? Yeah, you know, my way of, my, in the way I see figures, it's not going to be... No, this is pretty, pretty abstract, but... Yeah, uh, no, no, that's what I do. Do you know how to do realism? Do you know how to do real stuff? Yeah, but that's what I do. My faces are not realistic. I don't right. work with realism. Right. Yeah. So, but you do know how to do a well, real face? Well, you go face? to a school, you know, you learn it, the academic. Yes, you, you know how to do that? The, yes, you learn that at school. Yeah. You know, how to paint us. Exactly the way yeah, it is? Like as uh, real, realism, yeah. high realism. So that's that, what you do that can be learned? That's what you go when you go to school, art school. Oh. You learn that, mm. and then you break. If you choose, you break from that, and oh. you create your own vision. Okay. If you choose to go into the academic, mm -hmm. like in anything, like in music, okay. like in anything, and then you may choose to break the academic, and then you create your something own new, your own um, style, image, your own style of the world. Your own, your own view of the world. Yeah, something like that. Okay. <laughs> and did you find that people understand what you paint? You know, I don't think you need to understand. You no, I mean, you do they understand the like message? You, do they understand you, your message? You just feel. It's more like a feeling than understand it because you, what would you understand about a painting? I think it's, uh, of course, when they ask me. You tell them. What, yes. Of okay. course, but uh, I think it's how when you look at something like this is uh, each so one feels different. So what was going, for example, what phase of your life was going through your mind when you painted two face? Was there? Uh, you know, usually the two face, the two people, it's connection, it's bounding. Okay. It's like friendship, relationship. Really? It's being unit with right. the other okay. being. You know, okay. it's like a. Um, so, so when you say friendship put two face, that means there's connection, and uh, when you put one face, means what? It's not like two faces. It's like the 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 the, the connection uh, sometimes is is not the face, but it's the whole body. It's relationship. It's about bonding, like I said. And uh, when you see one figure, is related, probably more a self portrait. Oh, okay. You know, like... Do uh, you see yourself like, here? Yeah, like a reflection, like praying, and... I don't think she looks like you. Well, none of them look like anybody, I think. <laughs> but you know, it's not they don't have that... Um, um, it's not a reflection of you. Uh, well, that's my intention. Okay. 
You don't want to really show your face there. No, it's not that I don't want to show, but that's how I show. Okay. Yeah, it's not about I want. That's how it comes. Okay. I don't really. This is uh, not inspired for, from, for example, a magazine. No. No. It's not an image that you saw. No, there is no image that I saw here anywhere. No. No. Okay, it's all from your mind. From my mind. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, it's good when people have an image, but I happens to happens that I don't. Okay. I don't do well with an image in front of me. Okay. That's why my work is really more um, the inner the, inner feeling. Inner is not. Um, it's not at all. This, there is no. Of course, I worry about the static, but it's not. Um, it's but uh, so you don't use computers, you don't use images, and you don't use uh, measuring instruments. No. So I use it's uh, as is from your hand. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Yeah. All right. And the colors also is an inspiration, I assume. Yeah. The yeah. color comes according to the process. Okay. Sometimes it changes. More about yellows or more red. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> it, sometimes it changes. Sometimes the background here started in blue. Oh, okay. And it finished in red. And this one is purple. Yeah, it depends what it's called for. It's almost like I don't know what I'm going to do until it's done. they're done. It's not, I don't have a pre plan. Okay. Yeah, it's just. So you have all the colors in front of you and you pick. Exactly. Mm. I. But you, you mix them a little bit, right? I do mix them a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We showed them all, I think. Let's see. The one behind me, yeah, that's the one with the... Looks like a pizza almost. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it looks... It's two, two figures. Okay. So, yeah, that's good. That Do you want to maybe uh, tell us, um, since this is a multi-language TV... I don't speak Portuguese, but tell us uh, in Portuguese what your art is all about. Well, I think in English I was able to communicate and let's leave in English. Leave I, it I just want to tell you my, my website. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Which is um, viewbook. Viewbook? Yeah, it's the viewbook. A view book is a, a, a suffix? It's a, it's a website for artists. It's like so a there is no dot com then? Yeah, it's a Katja Almeida point dot yeah. view book dot com. Okay, there is a, it's a view book dot com. Okay. Yes, yes. So you have a space there. Yes. And, and then I have my sculptures there as well. Yeah. And my painting and my statement and my biography. Where I have been, where did I you have bring your sculpture with you? No, I didn't. Okay. I have in my card here. You yeah. have a card? Yeah, if you want to uh, yeah, show, show and show uh, one at least, at least one. Yeah, here. So you use that in your business card? Yeah, as my business card. I, I think I gave you one. Is, is your, are your sculpture in, um, in bronze? I have some bronze, but the ones that see my website is, is a series of clay. Clay, okay. Yeah, but I have bronze and I have some alabaster. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is one of my paintings. And uh, if you want to turn, and that's where my my address, my website address But that's is. not a sculpture. No, my sculpture um, is on the website, but it's not on my card. Okay. So if you want to... Um, oh, katiaalmedia.viewbook.com. Okay. It's all one word, katiaalmedia.viewbook.com. Mm -hmm. dot dot That's great. So I'm happy I was able to catch you today um, and uh, talk about your art. So uh, did they tell you the date that you will be exposing at uh, Open Arts? I mean, you know, I wish I could studio. tell you that. Yeah. But um, first weekend, second weekend. You know what happened? It's uh, Alabama Street, and it's not with Artspan. It's okay. not with the Open Studio. They have their own Open Studio. Really? Yeah. It called Art Explosion, and they. That happens also in September, but it, it doesn't have anything to do, to do with, with the, the open studio. Got it. But is it um, is it several weekends? It's. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on the first week of September, but if you check, 
It's the gonna website be soon. it's going to be soon it's going to be soon yeah. it's going to be in september and it's art explosion it's not with a explosion art explosion oh explosion like wow okay so i'll look it up when i get home i guess yes so you Bec are i'll be very happy to see you there i send you the information oh yeah i can videotape all of yes, them right it'll be great yeah sure yeah, and i will be showing my sculpture there as well oh then we'll do another video yes yes that would be fantastic okay. <laughs> i look forward to it yes. yeah because i'll see the sculpture and, uh -huh. and all the paintings and it will be fun to look at other artists yes so let's do that yeah that's wonderful if uh k give me the date and I but i'm sure on alt explosion i'll find it no no i give you the information yeah you will be able to find anyway but I you'll will, find me I will you will give you it to me posted. okay all right so this was Ketcha Almedia we didn't talk too much about you can you tell us a little bit about you uh, before you got into art what uh, was uh, your interest well my um I was a traveler I was traveling all over the world to oh. Europe you know just looking for you just came back from purpose. a trip too yeah but that was a different trip that time I was very young and I was exploring okay and um and then i came to san francisco yeah and somehow 19, i went to academy of art yes 1990 and then i found my call i found the art you found that you like it yes i see and that was when everything started okay. and then from there on, on i started sculpture and painting exploring and the inner voice that i didn't know and all your life you have been a yoga instructor? No, no, no. I was like just a curious person traveling around the world. Yeah. And then at the same time that I found the art, I found the yoga. Okay. So it was pretty much simultaneously. Okay. And I have been doing both. So I'm teaching yoga for mm -hmm. seniors, mm -hmm. which has been amazing. Okay. I mean, it's like, you know, I don't say one is better than the other because they are, they just fulfill my life. Okay and um and painting so that's what i'm doing now i'm teaching and i'm painting teaching is a beautiful profession oh, yes it is it's yeah. very because you transmit to others yes. what and you also you help them yeah through their wonderful. health for their health so that's wonderful so that you found the balance between something physical and be and something artful and that's wonderful thank you so uh i'm so ha happy i saw you after all these months i thought i will never see you again no, so we thank will you keep in touch no. yeah that's good that i found your phone number then yes so thank you so much for being here thank you thank you i appreciate no problem thank you perfect 32. Cool. <laughs> okay